Well, a key figure in your success was someone you met as a chorister at Bangor Cathedral. He became your tutor when your concert and recording career took off. And he's here for you tonight, Robert Wynne Roberts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, Robert, you were Alan's singing coach for the formative years. That's right. Yes, it was, uh, well, a terrific experience, really, because uh, our relationship was based on enthusiasm, mm. wasn't it, really? You were enthusiastic, I was enthusiastic as well. But, of course, one uh, occasion, do you remember memories? Uh, you sang in Edinburgh mm -hmm. and uh, with and Sir line. Andrew Lloyd Webber mm -hmm. uh, presenting it and of course Aled in the middle of the performance forgot his words. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> but Aled being the true professional that he is not only made up the words but actually got them to rhyme as well and <laughs> that's the true professional. Yeah, well let us see how you coped as the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh looked down from the royal box. <laughs> That same year, 1985, you record the song that captures the hearts of the nation. Walking in the Air reaches number five in the charts, and the week before Christmas, you make your debut on Top of the Pops. the age of 16 the big question on everyone's lips was when your voice would break mm -hmm. in 1986 you're invited to give a private concert at Kensington Palace for Prince Charles and Princess Diana same year another famous couple invite you to sing at their wedding remembering that day Bob Geldof hi Alad uh, congratulations I remember the uh, first time that Paul and I met you was at some pop do and um, we were hugely impressed. You came over and asked for our autographs, and Paula was asked you would you sing at our wedding, which was coming up, and fantastically and immediately you said yes. And on that day, you sang in um, the little chapel by our house uh, so beautifully that it reduced the sort of pop royalty who were our guests to absolute tears, and I'm sure they inserted a little prayer just afterwards, praying that one day they could hope to sing like you. <laughs> During the meal and stuff afterwards, I remember you going around collecting autographs, and then as the night came down, we were all wearing our morning suits and top hats, and somebody decided that we should play baseball, and I've got this fantastic picture of this little Welsh boy wielding this baseball bat <laughs> in the middle of the night, and uh, um, it was a great day, and you made it very special for us and, and, and memorable. Congratulations tonight, and uh, well done. You really deserve it. You, you're a fantastic artist. Your voice was in peak condition when you took part in the Bernstein Festival of the Barbican. The Queen was there to hear you sing Leonard Bernstein's Chichester Psalms. Here's an excerpt, including a few words of praise, from the maestro himself. And uh, he's um, also unspoiled, he's a hard worker, he's patient, he's a love, and I'd like to adopt him for my very own. <laughs>